Uh oh. <laughs> there he <goes>. We sent <laughs> him reeling. <laughs> All right, let's go uh, have a look at the damage, and we're going to move on to a couple of other guns. So far, the 300 Win Mag, did it make it through the plate? I don't know. Let's go see. All right, guys, we saw that our 300 Winchester Magnum, we connected with the plate twice right there. Um, one shot landed right there, just low of center. The other one, a little bit uh, more towards the bottom edge of the plate. Um, both of the shots, I'm glad they landed close together because I really wanted to see if that 300 wind mag would you know, have enough momentum at this distance to really carry through that plate. Um, the plate did try to delaminate just a little bit, but that's what it's designed to do. The anti-spalling seemed to have done its job. I don't really see any jacket fragments uh, around here anywhere. And of course, our ballistic Bob over there, let's grab him. We're gonna step it up just a little bit here. We're running a Saco TRG-42. We're gonna run a 285 grain Hornady match load, okay? Uh, there's not a whole lot that'll that'll uh, stand up to a 338. This is a wicked caliber. This is a very very fine rifle, very exceptional quality. It's topped off with a 6 to 24 by 72 millimeter Heinzolt uh, scope. This particular rig is the pretty much the exact same thing the Finnish Army uses. So I'm giving a little shout out to uh, my Finns. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and hit that that plate, shall we? I love my job. <laughs> this is great. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, that's great. I love it when you get a first shot kill. All right, well, uh, it looks like it slammed the crap out of it. Let's go have a look. All right, guys, I have to say I'm really impressed with the performance of this plate and with the performance of that Saco TRG-42. That is an exceptional rifle. That thing just really slings them in there exactly like we want them to. Uh, we saw that our torso, he did, he did go reeling now. Um, you know, getting hit with that round, I think, is going to be a very bad day regardless of whether or not you have body armor. Um, to comment on the lethality, to some degree, could be a relatively moot point because, I mean, yes, the projectile didn't enter the body. It did not physically enter his body and harm him in that regard. But the sheer force of impact that hit that plate, you know, we did kind of favor along the top edge. Now, the anti-spalling did its job, kept the jacket fragments where we wanted them to go, you know, not uh, towards your body or towards your extremities. Uh, but it contained a large amount of fragments. There's quite a few uh, floating around in there. Uh, the plate is actually just barely dented, so it did it.